including women and children in the city of Duma, that's just outside the capital of Damascus. President Trump now issuing a series of threatening tweets saying, President Putin, Russia, and Iran are responsible for backing animal Assad. Big price to pay. Russia now firing back this morning, calling reports of the attack a hoax and warning of serious consequences. So let's go right to ABC's Chief Global Affairs Correspondent, Martha Raditz, who's with us this morning. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, David. These images are so disturbing. The children, the families in such distress, and already there are claims of retaliation. Overnight, a watchdog group reporting 14 were killed in a missile attack on a Syrian airbase. Pentagon officials say the U.S. is not conducting airstrikes in Syria. Russia and Syria claiming Israel is responsible for the strike. This follows that suspected chemical attack in Syria on Saturday. These chilling images appear to show the aftermath. Medical workers washing off young children and infants who are struggling to breathe. Many of the images too graphic to show. Entire families appear to have been killed by the attack. Rebel activists and rescuers say at least 40 are dead, suffocating from an unknown substance. The suspected chemical attack came after a months-long siege on the rebel-held district of Douma, near the Syrian capital of Damascus. While U.S. intelligence is assessing the strike, President Trump called it a mindless chemical attack in a tweet and blamed President Putin, Russia, and Iran for backing animal Assad. His first denunciation of Russian President Vladimir Putin on Twitter. The White House not ruling out a military response. I wouldn't take anything off the table. These are horrible photos. We're looking into the attack at this point. It was just over a year ago when the images from this chemical attack in Syria led President Trump to order a missile strike on a Syrian military airfield in retaliation. That crosses many, many lines beyond the red line. But since that strike, according to Human Rights Watch, there have been at least six other suspected chemical attacks in Syria. U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley saying the U.S. and eight other nations will hold an emergency security council meeting today tweeting strong action is needed the regime of Syrian president Bashar al-Assad denies using chemical weapons saying the videos are fabricated and Russia is still backing Assad warning that any military intervention could lead to the most serious consequences. All right, so let's get right back to Martha, because Martha, you and I were on the air just over a week ago when President Trump suddenly announced on stage in Ohio, we'll be coming out of Syria. Words that surprised the Pentagon, the State Department at the time, and now this. He meets with top-level military leaders today? He does, David. President Trump has a previously scheduled meeting with high-level military leaders at the White House. If the president decides on a military response, it could come quickly. Last year, the American military response took place less than three days after the chemical attacks. Trump's comments last week you were talking about were about the fight against ISIS. This suspected chemical attack is being blamed on the Syrian government. And David, as you know, given what the president has already tweeted and knowing how he responds to images, I would not be at all surprised if he ordered a missile strike yeah. this time as well. We're